Hey, and welcome to this part two on five useful Maya modeling tools to know about. If you like my content and find it helpful, supporting the channel on Patreon will help me to continue to bring you the content you enjoy. The first tool I want to talk about is the Snap Together tool. This tool can be great for adding extra details onto your models, and I'm going to demonstrate that on this example. Don't get distracted by this amazing train model, but what we want is the chimney to be placed on top. I mean, it wouldn't be too hard to manually do this in this example. So let's go ahead and make this a little harder by rotating the chimney. So it's a little bit less straightforward. Head up to modify, snap together tool. Nothing is going to immediately happen in the viewport, but we can now click a face or click and hold to be able to move the snap point around. I'm just gonna place it somewhere like here. The object that we place a point on first will be the object that moves. Next, select where we want to snap to. So this face over here. And again, we can drag the mouse to move to the exact point more freely. Notice how we get this kind of dotted line showing us the connection between the two points. Just go ahead and hit enter to confirm that. And our faces are gonna to snap together by default, this tool is going to rotate the object to snap perfectly, but in the tool settings, you can always adjust this if you wish, making it so only the positions change. It's nice as we can model our details without really thinking about their placement, and then once we've done that, we can then place them how we want very easily without having to manually orientate the meshes, which would be super time consuming. Next, let's go over a really handy tool, the multi-cut tool. We can get to this tool by holding shift and the right mouse button and then go into the multi-cut tool. We can draw edges manually like this, just click into cut. Or we can press control to add an entire edge loop. And we can actually use the middle mouse button opposed to left clicking to add an edge loop exactly in the middle. If we just go into the tool settings, we can turn on a setting called edge flow. And this will edit the flow of our new edge, taking into consideration the flow of the surrounding edges. So if I go ahead and add an edge in here, you can see how it's now maintaining this curve, which is nice. I'll just remove it and add it back to kind of really show the effect again. One final thing which can be helpful to know is slicing. We can click and drag and slice our mesh however we want. Can be useful if you're wanting to add an edge through a lot of separate objects. And of course, hold and shift will give you a straight line in any axis. The multi-cut tool is pretty much my go-to tool when modeling, and it's one I imagine you will find many uses for as well. Another handy tool to know about is the slide edge tool. Let's just go ahead and select this edge. And you can use this tool by going to Mesh Tools, Slide Edge Tool. Just open up the menu. There are two modes, Relative and Absolute. To use this tool, drag with the middle mouse button to adjust the edge. In Relative mode, the edge is going to adjust depending on the topology around it. See how it's going from being straight down here to being bent as we move it more towards a curved end. In Absolute mode, this isn't the case and the edge maintains its current shape. We can hold control to move the edge outside of the mesh like so, or we can hold shift to move it along another axis. When not in the tool, more quickly, you can just hold shift and control to slide an edge in whichever transform mode. See how we get the little slide text? and now we can slide like so. Sliding edges can be super handy when modeling, and I think remembering the shortcut Shift and Control is the best way to access this Maya tool. The next tool we will cover is the Target Weld tool. The Target Weld tool can be found in the Mesh Tools menu, and this tool lets you merge one vertex or edge with another vertex or edge. It's a tool I use all the time, and it's got a bunch of super helpful use cases. You can access this tool from the Mesh Tools menu up here, or by using the Marker menu. When an object is selected, you can hold Shift and the right mouse button, and select Target Weld. 
If you have an edge selected, hold shift and the right mouse button and then go to merge collapse edges, target weld tool. And if you have a vertex selected, shift and the right mouse button, merge vertices, target weld tool. And then you just want to click and drag to make a connection, releasing to merge. You can go ahead and select multiple components such as edges or in this example vertices and merge them into another single point like so. Another thing which is useful is merging to the center. Just go into the tool settings and we can change this setting to center. If merge center is on, a green dot is going to be drawn on the orange line to indicate the center point. When we go ahead and release the mouse, we can see how we now get a vertex in the middle where they've been welded. Let me just go ahead and unhide my other example. An example of when you might use this tool is for example, when you have two objects which you want to create a topological connection between. My desire is to merge each of these vertices from this mesh into this other mesh. But to do so, note that these need to be combined to work. Select them both, hold shift and the right mouse button, combine. Now in vertex mode, shift and the right mouse button, select merge vertices, target weld tool. Now as we go ahead and weld these up, just make sure the orange line is making the correct connection and pointed in the right direction. So this is looking correct. Merge to center is toggled on, so we're going to create a nice connection nicely in the middle. As you can hopefully see, this tool gives you way more control than the regular merge vertices tool. The regular merge tool has its use cases, but often I find I'm using the target weld tool more frequently than not. Finally, let's cover the select similar tool, which should speed up some of the repetitive tasks when selecting a lot of similar components. Say you have a shape like this, but you really want to add a bevel to all these circular holes in the top. You could go around manually and select them all, just double clicking. Or more efficiently, you could just select one of them, head up to select similar. And that's going to select all the similar edges that Maya detects. In the tools options, you can adjust the tolerance, but you should find the default works pretty well usually. And now we can go ahead and press control B to bevel these edges. Be sure to join the discord server to chat with a great community of fellow modelers and check out my Patreon for access to the members only chat and a whole bunch of assets and tools. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons, come chat with me on the Discord, and I'll see you in the next video.